Coach, I know you, um, Leonard and McCollum have, you know, to do the heavy lifting uh, in this game. I know you don't expect to do that. The rest of the team was 12 for 39 for the floor, which is not bad as far as uh, shots, but I know you look for, you know, better offensive production for the rest of the group. Uh, yeah, it was, I'm sorry, I didn't understand the, I mean, was there a question you there? Look, Yeah, well, you're looking for other people to step up. That's basically what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, we need, uh, it's going to take a team to beat them, you know, and Damian and CJ are, are talented scorers, and uh, they both had uh, great offensive nights. I mean, CJ in the first half was uh, outstanding, but, um, you know, we need everybody, and uh, guys have to be ready to make shots. Uh, they're a good help defensive team, so uh, when the ball swung out, they got may be able to take advantage of those opportunities, but, yeah, Damian and CJ, uh, if they get 80 between them, we still need to score another 40 or 50. Somewhere. Hey, Coach, uh, where did it get away from you in the fourth quarter? Uh, you know, they got they were very aggressive. You know, obviously we didn't shoot the ball well. Uh, we had six turnovers in the fourth. Um, Draymond had an impact on the game at the rim and in the paint. Um, they got more aggressive on the ball, uh, with trapping pick and rolls a little bit more. So, I mean, in a quarter, if you have six turnovers and shoot 30% in a quarter, it's, it's going to be rough. And, uh, you know, that's a credit to their defense, and we've got to be able to handle that a little bit better. Uh, Damian and CJ were very good in the second half, but they weren't quite on fire like the first half. And I'm wondering, uh, did they just cool off a little bit, or, or did the Warriors do some things defensively to start to take that away? Um, I don't know. I, I thought uh, the Warriors were a little bit more aggressive in the fourth quarter in particular. Um, that would that probably be the, the main thing. Um, you know, I'm not sure that uh, other than that, uh, it seemed like they were trapping their pick and rolls. But, you know, they tried to trap them in the first half as well. Um, you know, first half, you don't expect, uh, you know, having 27 or whatever CJ had in a half. I mean, that's an outstanding half. Um, but I thought they were a little more aggressive individually, and obviously Draymond uh, Draymond had an impact in, in the paint. Anthony Slater with Barry News Group. You mentioned Draymond. How much of it was just good offense, and he just blew up the play at the end? I mean, he seemed to have a couple dunks, and he just kind of tossed them away. Uh, uh, his strength as a defender is as a help defender, and um, you know we've we've talked about that. But you know he has uh, he has the ability to. Uh, Bother shots and block shots. He's he's quick reacting, and um, you know the thing with him is that when, if you beat somebody off the dribble, he's going to be there, and that's where whoever the penetrator is, Dame, CJ, or whoever it is, has to recognize that, and the other guys have to be ready to make shots if it's kicked out. Uh, Mark Spears, ESPN, Coach. How? I guess demoralizing is it that they could your backcourt could have so much production and and still still lose a game or am, am, should I look at it the opposite way? You should look at it the opposite way. It's uh, I don't think it's demoralizing that uh, we we compete extremely well for three quarters. Uh, it takes four quarters to beat a great team, and uh, if anything, it showed that um, that when we when we play at this level that. Um, we can we can play them and we can beat them, but I wouldn't call it demoralizing. Certainly, it's disappointing to to lose a game. Uh, you know, you go into the fourth quarter tied, uh, but it's a tough place to play. And uh, I think that uh, if anything, it shows that um, that we have the prospects are good. I mean, I think that we found ways to score. We just have to manage to score for four quarters. Um, so no, not demoralizing at all. Coach, uh, what is the emotion like after the? in the locker room after the game? Because uh, it's more like a positive or like a little bit of frustration in there? Probably both. I mean, uh, it's um, certainly losing is uh, is disappointing. But uh, it's the thing about a series. You know, you learn from one game and, and move on to the next. And uh, so there's the disappointment of losing. But certainly, we got to take away from whatever we take away from this game and be ready for Wednesday. and. Uh, be ready to play, but uh, in a series you can't get uh, you can't get too high or too low. You know you gotta gotta learn from from that game, whatever through a win or a loss, and then move on. So I wouldn't say it's uh, it's not uh, not one way or the other. It's just uh, we gotta get better. Coach, is there a chance that we see uh, Nurkic this uh, this series? 
Yes. Next game? Uh, that's to be determined. NBA Italy. Uh, Coach, you did face the, the Warriors last year, too. Um, do you think this version is even more powerful with Durant? Uh, and what, what do you think? Um, I don't know if more powerful is the right word. Certainly, um, uh, they may be a better team. I, you know, ultimately, for them, it's uh, their criteria is whether they win a championship or not. But uh, I think their ability to score this year with Durant uh, has taken the load off of some of the other guys. Um, Last year was a different team. It's they won 73 games and we're up 3-1 in the finals. So that's uh, I shouldn't I don't want to discredit anything last year's team did. Uh, but this team uh, this team will make its mark in the playoffs. And certainly there with Durant, uh, it's a different dimension than last year. All right, thank you.